Welcome to Fireside Gaming. I'm Billum, and this is Demo Discourse. In it, we take a look at demos for games as well as games in early access or other pre-release states. This week, we're taking a look at the Outriders demo. Outriders is an upcoming third-person cooperative RPG shooter. Dang, that's a mouthful. The game is developed by People Can Fly, which is the company behind Bulletstorm, and they also helped out with some of the Gears of War games. Outriders has players taking on the role of an Altered, an individual with special powers. This is where the RPG elements come into play. Players can choose between four different classes, and each class has their own development trees to head down. I played through the Outriders demo twice with two different classes. The first was the Devastator, which is basically the close-range tank class, and then the Trickster, which deals in hit-and-run tactics. In both cases, I found what the classes offered in skills to be... okay. Nothing really amazing, but it's also just the start of the game, to be fair. I should mention at this point that most of my footage from the Devastator is unusable due to frame rate issues during recording. However, I have to show off this one part of the game. Almost as soon as I was sent out to explore the world, I found myself stuck in between a rock and a tree. I sat here for almost four minutes, shifting around, trying to get unstuck. I eventually just had to quit and start over again. It wasn't a major time loss or anything, but it sure as heck wasn't the best first impression Outriders could have given me. The different weapons that players acquire are also pretty bog-standard. Shotguns, sniper rifles, assault rifles, and the like. There weren't any that really offered something unique or interesting. To be fair, a game doesn't always have to offer something new to be fun, but the gameplay in Outriders really feels like a case of a bunch of mediocre gameplay elements being thrown together into one package. Players just run between cover while shooting bullet sponge enemies and never really feel like they're in danger. Oftentimes, I would even just ignore the cover completely and stand out in the open killing opponents. About the only time I ever felt in danger was during the last boss fight of the demo. It's against another altered, and there are no other enemies in the area. That matters because the main way to heal in Outriders is killing enemies. With nothing to kill, it just became a waiting game of hiding behind cover until my abilities were off cooldown, hitting the boss with them, and then hiding behind cover again to repeat the whole process later. Like I said, not hard, but also not much fun either. So the gameplay isn't actually something I would write home about. How about the story or setting? Yet again, Outriders fumbles the ball. The game starts out strong with players being a survivor from Earth off to colonize a new planet. See, the people in Outriders had to leave Earth after pollution and wars destroyed it to the point of making it uninhabitable. That leads them to this new planet, which is filled to the brim with vibrant and unique flora and fauna, at least for the first 30 minutes of the game. After the Outriders, basically a group of sci-fi cowboys hired to help with the exploration of this new planet, are betrayed by this evil scientist guy, players are thrown into cryo for about 30 years. When the player's character wakes up again, humans have turned the planet, or at least part of it, into a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Now they have to help in a war between various factions and others altered over who gets to rule this hell. I can't stress just how much of a bummer this was to me. Everything about the opening of the game led me to believe this was some kind of space cowboy game where players are out exploring an interesting new planet and help a group of settlers adjust to the new environment. There's even this guy at the start of the game with an incredibly cool sci-fi cowboy outfit. Like, I saw this and was immediately like, yes, I want to be like that guy. Let me tame an untamed wilderness with just a six-shooter and a long rifle. Then it just goes to gritty and desolate at the drop of a hat, and my interest plummeted at that point. What the game industry really doesn't need right now is yet another gritty third-person cover-based shooter, but that's what Outriders is. Also, what's the point of leaving a post-apocalyptic Earth whenever you're just going to be thrown into another post-apocalyptic setting on a different planet? At this point, the developers could have just set the game on Earth anyway, and there wouldn't have been much of a difference. To be fair to the game, it seems like players might get the chance to explore the world and get out of that desolate part that humans have destroyed. Even so, it's never a good idea to bait and switch the player like the opening of Outriders does. I should also note that Outriders feels like a stock standard story as well. The big goal, from what I can tell from the demo, is that there's this super-powered altar that the player will eventually have to kill. The game is all mysterious about who it is, but my bet's on the scientist at the start of the game. We never actually see him die on screen, and it would be such a generic twist for him to be the final boss that it's just what I expect from Outriders based on everything else it's shown me. I'd like to be proved wrong here, honestly, but I just don't think I will be. If I am, then eh, my apologies to the developers. I underestimated you. If it isn't clear, I'm really not seeing the potential in Outriders. 
The game's only about a month away, with a launch on April 1st. The fact that the game is launching on April Fool's Day is the most appropriate thing I can think of, because it's a bit of a joke. The easiest thing I can think of to summarize my feelings about Outriders is this. There's no reason to pay $60 for this game when you can just play Destiny 2 for free. Honestly, even if Outriders was free, I'd still probably play Destiny 2 over it. There's just nothing here that makes it worth spending time or money on. I know I'm not usually this pessimistic or harsh with games, but Outriders really feels like a case of the developer just phoning it in. It's just another live services game that'll probably be dead in a year or so. Maybe it'll pull in some players jumping ship from Anthem, but I'd hope they would be smart enough not to get burned a second time. Well, those are my thoughts on Outriders. You can check out the demo for yourself and make your own decision on the game. As always, thank you for watching, and take it easy.